Hi everyone, welcome to Naturally Gated Horse. My name is Jennifer Klitzke, and this is my Naturally Gated Tennessee Walking Horse Makana. In this video, we will review a few ways I've ridden my Naturally Gated Head Nodding Horse over the years and see its effect on smooth gait. When I acquired Makana in 2007, she was my first Naturally Gated Horse. The head nod and smooth gates like flat walk and running walk were new to me. Previous to this, my background had been 20 years of German dressage riding and showing non-gated horses. I started taking lessons with a local Tennessee walking horse instructor where I was encouraged to sit in my pockets and ride with low fixed hands as you see in the footage from our earlier days. What I notice is that my horse is going above the bit and then below the bit, she doesn't look relaxed or comfortable. As a result, she's quite pacey and step pacey. Another thing I notice is that this riding position of sitting in my pockets seems to place me behind my horse's center of gravity. And since I'm on my pockets, my weight is on her spine, even riding in a Western saddle. This adds to her discomfort and hollows her back. In my opinion, the low fixed hands that don't follow her natural head and neck motion and the unbalanced riding position are causing discomfort and tension, which lead to the pacey and step pacey movement. Then in 2010, I returned to the German dressage I learned with non-gated horses and began to apply this with my naturally gated Tennessee walking horse. Makana's paciness began to disappear and quality smooth gates began to develop. German dressage taught me to drive my horse forward with my legs and seat into my following hands and adopt a balanced riding position over my horse's center of gravity. I also received wonderful coaching from my mentor, Jenny Jackson, who is a master in dressage for the gated horse. She trained and rode her famous Tennessee walking horse stallion, the late Champagne Watchout, to the highest levels of dressage in his natural smooth gates. Jenny taught me how the lateral exercises like shoulder in and hodges in can help break up pacey movement. She also taught me the importance of forwardness without rushing and connection with the naturally gated head nodding horse to produce quality smooth gates. I attended clinics with Larry Whitesell. They taught the importance of balance, relaxation, and respect for the horse. These clinics introduced me to French dressage. This was a turning point for me, especially the teachings of masters Philippe Carl and the late Jean-Claude Resiné. Their books and DVDs over the years have taught me the importance of separating my hand aids from my leg aids. Combined with the relaxation of the mind and the body, balance and forwardness without rushing. This is when my naturally gated horses found relaxation in their bodies to produce the quality smooth gates they have today. There are many ways to ride a naturally gated horse and I found my happy place riding dressage. Thanks for joining us and come visit us at naturallygatedhorse.com or naturallygated.com.